Magic Rock, Salty Kiss, Gooseberry, Goes. too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. The sun is out and I've got some beer from the People's Republic of Yorkshire. This is from the Magic Rock Brewery. From Uddersfield. That's how it's pronounced. It's got an H on it, but you don't pronounce the H. It's Uddersfield. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I've got to stop doing this about Yorkshire. I'm going to get absolutely fucking annihilated if I ever go up there. Um, this is uh, Magic Rock Brewery. Oh, I love what they do. They're a really good one. And uh, I, I'm trying to think of a bad one I've had from them. And I can't. But do you know what? I always get this lot. Um, and the... Who's the one from... The Wild Beer. I always get Wild Beer Company. I always get them two mixed up. Don't ask me why, but I do. Um, but these are... And do you know what? It couldn't be further from the... Further, they couldn't be further apart... One is from uh, Somerset and one is from Yorkshire. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is a goes, not a goes or who's a, but a goes. Now there is a difference. Goes is from a place called Goslar, which is in Germany, or more specifically, uh, the region of Saxony, and um, it's. <laughs> It's a traditional German style of sour beer, but it's flavoured with salt, of all things. And the reason it is, is because of the beer, the artisan well that was used to make the original goes in this region called Gosla, hence the name. Um, it was salty. It was a salty um, well. It wasn't a, a freshwater um, well. And they flavoured it with the, you know, they flavoured the beer with this water or added the water or used the water to brew and decided they liked the flavour and they've just spawned a whole new genre of beer. Now this was, this was a long time ago and it almost died out and, um, you know, it wasn't that popular in Germany. It was only popular in the region, sort of that region of uh, East, well, what, what was Eastern Germany. And um, the uh, the Reinheitsgebot uh, refused to acknowledge it because it used salt and it also used coriander in the original German gozes. So it doesn't conform to the Reinheitsgebot. This is a collaboration with an, well, with the Magic Rock Brewery. They, they've done a collaboration with a German brewery called, I think it was uh, Kiss Meyer or something like that. Hence the name, um, Salty Kiss. And... Uh, they brewed this in collaboration and Magic Rock now have taken it on. And this will be the first time I've ever tried this. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, it will be the first time I've ever tried a goes. So, let's investigate what this is. Before I do, I must point out that this is a gooseberry goes. Um, proper, or the original goes, was not fruit infused. It was just, you know, normal spice infused. It didn't have this sort of fruit um, fruit addition to it and it's also got quite a sour taste and it uses um, I think it's lactic acid to give it the sourness which is also the same stuff you get in Berlin of Ice as well so you know these are and also the the Belgian Gers or Husa if you're from West Vlanders as they call it anyway I'm rambling on about here you probably had too much information about this stuff let's see what this beer is all about As I said, it's from Uddersfield, and um, it's it's brewed and canned at Magic Rock Willow Park Business Centre, Willow Lane, Uddersfield, HD1 5EB. It contains barley, wheat. Oh, it does con contain wheat. Um, the original goes had 50% wheat in the grain bill, so these do have a... Have a um, a, 
a large percentage of um, of weight in them. So you know the mouthfeel should be quite good. Uh, it's four point one percent. Yes, it's four point one percent, which is in keeping with the style. Um, original the original goes had low ABV. This has as well at four point one. So yeah, interesting. Let's get it open and let's see what's going on. On the nose, out of the can. Oh, that smells weird. Not getting much fruit at all. I'm getting some sourness and some spice. And I can, get, I can actually get coriander. I don't know whether it's me subconsciously talking about coriander, but I can definitely smell some. Let's get it into the glass and see what the hell is going on. Now, to be honest, I'm not a massive fan of salty drinks. And I do remember someone telling me, I can't remember who it was, while well, I was watching the documentary, but um, apparently in Afghanistan, they put salt in their tea. That is a fucking disgusting thing to do. I've done that a couple of times, thinking it was sugar when I used to take sugar, or I've done it for people who take sugar. I don't take sugar in tea now, but I've done it for some people. Put salt instead of sugar, fucking hell. If you want to see someone spit some stuff out, spit tea out at a rate of knots, put some salt in it, it is fucking vile. Anyway, that looks very nice. That is hazy, that is like a yellow straw color. The head on it is amazing. Now it uses cascade hops. Apparently the originals weren't hop heavy at all. So I don't know whether that's gonna make any difference to the flavor or not, but it's got cascade hops in there. On the nose, out of the glass. Yeah, there's more spice. It does, it's like a coriander. There's a sourness to it, a slight sourness. But there's like a, it's almost like, almost like a musty type smell to it. Okay. Let's get it down the hatch. This will be the first time I've ever tried a goes. Cheers. Oh, that's different. That is different. That is super smooth. I will say that. There was a light sourness to it. It's almost like a lambic, and I'm assuming that's because it's got the lactic acid in it. But the sourness isn't as strong as a Berliner or even a, 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 a Gers. This has very subtle sourness in it. And the mouthfeel is lovely, it's super smooth. I mean, there's, you, if you look at that, you, you see hardly any carbonation at all. The head is super white and foamy. But you swallow it, and then the back end, there's just like a kick of salt. But that is so, slightly subdued, but it's there, and it's totally unexpected. Now, I had visions of drinking this, <clears throat> and uh, what was the, this, there's, there's a, it's that fucking bell end on that scooter again. One day, one day. Have you seen that film, Sniper? Um, what was the sign? Oh yeah, there's a, uh, what, what's the beer, Piston Head. They do um, like a, a spirit that you take in shots and it's called uh, crude oil and it's salty, but the salt on it is fucking super strong. And I was expecting it to be like that on here but it's not. This is very subtly salty. It reminds me of an earthy lambic. An earthy lambic, God, there's that sour, that saltiness again. That's totally unexpected because what I was gonna say was it tastes like a very, very subdued 
Gers or Hooser. I always have to do the two because I've got mates from West Flanders and I've got mates from East Flanders as well. And the two apparently speak completely different languages. Well, not completely different languages, but their accent is so difficult to understand. Um, but yeah, that's what it tastes like. And uh, it's very toned down, but then you get this, this back end of salt and it's, it just takes you by surprise. I have to say, I'm getting absolutely no gooseberries in this whatsoever. Well, I'm not sure about that salt. It's not, it's not overpowering. But you just, oh, I can, do you know what, I can taste it on my lips as well. It's just totally unexpected. You don't expect salt in beer, but it's there. And uh, I have to say, I was expecting a lot more fruit in this. And I'm not getting that at all. It's, not, it's quite powdery as well, if you know what I mean. It's like there's, what am I, what am I trying to liken it to? Like a powdered drink. I'm sort of getting that, and it must be the dryness of the mouthfeel. But yeah, there is definite salt in the lips. Um, do I like it? <sighs> the flavours are subdued until you get that salt on the back end and it, it just throws you completely. I really don't know whether I like it. What I do know is I couldn't drink too much of this because it's not refreshing at all. In fact, it's making me, it's giving me more of a thirst and it must be the salt content that's in there. And I have to say, you know, there is no fruit in that at all that I'm getting. It could be any fruit. They're saying gooseberry. It could be anything. So what's the verdict? Well, first time drinking a goes. And I don't know whether I like it or not. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's refreshing. And it's becoming very popular. There is a lot of American companies that are doing this stuff as well. And I imagine knowing the Americans, they like their big flavour and there's going to be even more salt on it. And if there is, you know, they say this goes well with food, but I don't know whether it does or not. I personally wouldn't drink this with a, a meal. Um, the sourness on it as well is very toned down. So, yeah, I've... I'll give it a five out of 10 because it's it's too nondescript to have character. It hasn't got much character at all. It's not like a lambic, where, which the flavors just fucking in your face, you know, dry, crisp. And, and there, you know, the sourness is like straight up. This is just, I don't know, it's too wishy-washy, but in the salty back end on it. Now you're gonna get five out of 10 with it. Um, I'm imagining this isn't the best representation of the style. Um, I think if you want to taste a proper goes, I'd say get a German one. So sorry, the People's Republic of Yorkshire, but not for me. And remember, I'm drinking this shit, so you don't have to.